A Bronx native who had a successful career as a Hollywood movie producer has come home to New York and is teaching the next generation of filmmakers. This is happening at Brooklyn College's Graduate School of Cinema. Rogers at the Brooklyn Navy Yard yesterday. The school is located within uh, an actual movie studio. Good morning, Roger. Yeah, Pat, that's right. Steiner Studios here at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, which all kinds of TV and movie production goes on here. And yeah, this is I love this movie magic because it's like here I am in an apartment. But if I walk a little further, you know, Guido will show you that. No, it's this is one of their four sound stages here at the film school. And the guy who's running the show now is someone who's very familiar with the process of making films. Michael Caine, Cider House. Um, that's from The Hateful Eight. Oh, that's from... Uh, that's a great picture. From uh, Reservoir Dogs. Richard Gladstein's office is a movie lover's dream, with photos from his career producing movies, including two Academy Award nominations. Someone walking on rocks and the sound of gravel. You can put that into your film. The Bronx native is executive director at the Brooklyn College Fierstein Graduate School of Cinema, part of the City University of New York. It's located at Steiner Studios, the film and television production studio complex at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. It's the only film school in the nation located on a working film lot. There are many disciplines here, cinematography, editing, screenwriting, producing visual effects, animation. This is not teaching you to be just a director, it's teaching you how to be a filmmaker. So I think for this one, you could probably just maybe do the wide, just to show the space between them. Mirta Desir is a directing student working in post-production on a film called Skater Girls with editing student Jamie Green. She says Fierstein's location at Steiner was a big plus for her when she was choosing a graduate film program. You kind of feel the vibe in the air and the energy. Um, it has the bustle of an actual location for filming rather than being on a traditional campus. It's part of what Gladstein calls a dynamic, creative, and collaborative environment at Fierstein. Everyone brings something to the set. So I have an idea, but people bring another idea. It's just filmmaking is collaboration. So that's what makes it great when you come together. Uh, just a collaborative experience. You build the sets here, you use the table saw, etc., all of this gear, and then you bring it through the prop room and onto the soundstage. Gladstein says while the industry has changed since he got into the business, there is a constant when it comes to filmmaking. Nowadays, things are 10 episodes or 10 minutes or um, different formats, different lengths different distribution platforms. However, filmmaking is filmmaking, and storytelling is storytelling. Gladstein says he encourages aspiring filmmakers to learn a bit of the rules and then go out and break them. Uh, hey, yeah, Pat, <laughs> I had to use the door, right? I mean, come on. Uh, why not, right? But yeah, you know, really cool. So. Well, yeah, I did a little Kramer there, right? Richard Gladstein, uh, he was nominated for uh, a Best Picture nominee for The Cider House Rules, which I actually just watched a few weeks ago on HBO, totally randomly, and also for Finding Neverland. And I have to say, I, as a film buff, being in his office, Pat, I had all, he's like, I, I was, had all these questions because he, he's very good friends with, with Tarant Quentin Tarantino, worked on a lot of his films. And I'm asking, oh, wait, did, and he was like, Roger, can we get on with the interview, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so he was really cool, though. It was really <laughs> but uh, it's great to see all this in action and very intimidating to tell stories about people telling stories about people teaching people to tell stories. Uh, but it's, it's cool to see you there to do it. Thank you, Roger.